But over here, the 24 books for 2024. This is where I need to refresh on. And I haven't read a classic this year, I don't believe. I really want to read one. My current audiobook right now is Tom Lake by Ann Patchett. Okay, so the first thing I have on here, I only have like four items, by the way. The first thing we're doing in today's video is updating my Notion. I'm not gonna lie, I have been avoiding it, putting it off, like not using it at all for some reason. I don't know why I did that. I think I just got overwhelmed and lazy, honestly. So I haven't updated it in a few months. I also need to look at my goals for the year because the year's almost over. And I don't remember half of the goals that I set, like reading wise. So I need a refresher on that. So I'm going to record my screen so you guys can kind of see what's going on. And we'll talk through my notion together. Okay, so this is like the beginning of my book dashboard. This is already incorrect, the books read this year. I don't even know because I've barely been keeping up with it. I know I hit my original goal. I think it was like 75. I know I hit it. Yeah, I'm at 81 right now. So my, I changed my Goodreads goal to 90. And honestly, if I could get to 100, that would be ideal. But I put 90 because I don't like to fail things. I like to set the bar a little low. Okay, over here, this I'm not even going to worry about. Like, I haven't filled this out forever. And I don't care to. So we're ignoring that. But over here, the 24 books for 2024. This is where I need to refresh on because, <laughs> as you can see, there's a lot that are not read. And I told myself I was going to read these. So I still need to read Addicted to You, The Last Letter, Carrie Soto is Back, Magnolia Parks, Book Lovers. See, right now the thing is I am not in a romance phase. Right now in my reading, I don't want to read romance at all. Like anytime I try to pick up a romance book, I DNF it. And I know it's just because I'm not in the mood for it. I need like fantasy, mystery, something else to like keep me entertained. So I'm scared for this list. This list might not be completed, but that may or may not be a video coming to you soon actually not soon in december <laughs> um wildfire again another romance once upon a broken heart okay that one i don't have an excuse for because it is fantasy romanticy but i do need to finish the carval series first before i can read that i don't know why i didn't put carval instead of that on here but it's fine never a little life don't know if i'm gonna read those this year to be honest if we were villains atomic habits been reading that since like February. Funny story, which I still haven't read Book Lovers, so again, don't know why I put that on here. And nothing like the movies, which I don't even own, nor do I own Funny Story. So yeah, that will be a whole video. If I don't complete it, I'm not gonna be mad because I really didn't expect to just start not liking romance all of a sudden. So we'll talk about that in a different video. Series goals, huh? Don't think I'm going to finish off campus. I just don't really like it that much. I don't know. Oh, we can come over here. Carval. I finished those two. So I still need to do finale. Maple Hill series. Don't know. Atlas 6. I'll probably finish. This may or may not be a video coming to you soon as well. So look out for that. Addicted. I don't even know if I'm going to start that series, let alone finish it. That's crazy. Harry Potter. Guess what? Finish that one. And Once Upon a Broken Heart. Again, don't know. None of these are happening this year, that is for sure. <laughs> Maybe next year. For some reason, I literally put off series. Like, I don't know why, but I do. Oh, here's the part I'm dreading. I don't feel like doing this, but I know that I'll thank myself later. The last time I did this was July. So that's wonderful. I have so many months. July, August, September, October. Four months to fill out. Ugh. But I need to do this because I'll thank myself when I do my end of year wrap up that I have all these analytics and everything. Okay, let's lock in. I'm going. Love when I can't spell. Thank you. 
Okay, finally finished that. That only took me 20 minutes, but I will be thankful for that later. I also did go ahead and start planning some book miss videos. To be clear, I'm not going to be posting every single day leading up to Christmas. I just don't think that I can do that right now, especially with like wedding planning. A lot of stuff is going to be happening in December because that's when my family is going to be home and helping me and we're going to like find a venue, set a date, like all the big stuff. So I don't want to be like too overwhelmed. So right now I'm aiming to post like every other day. So like four times a week. We'll see if that ends up staying true, hopefully. But I just think it'll be fun to post a lot in December. There's always so many like good video ideas for December and I just really want to participate in it. So I will be kind of doing my own version of book miss, just like posting every other day. So look out for that. I have a lot of videos coming for that. And the rest of November is going to be pretty low on videos, probably only one a week, just because I'm really planning ahead for book miss and preparing for that. You're going to have a ton of videos then. Just thought I'd let you know, give you that little book miss update if anyone was curious. But I really want to go book shopping now. Like I'm in the mood to browse some books, look at some books. I don't need that many. Maybe I'll get some inspiration to come back and read. So don't hate me, but let's go book shopping. Oh my gosh. Do I need them? I feel like yes. I need to finish this one. Okay, I'm back in the car. I only ended up getting two books, so I feel like that's pretty good. I did end up getting the Betting on You and Better Than the Movies exclusive editions. Look at these sprayed edges. I literally had to. Like, I had no choice but to spend my money on them. I do own this one already. Don't know what I'm going to do with that copy. Maybe I'll unhaul it, give it away, or, or put it in one of the, like, free little libraries near me. I don't know. Because I really don't need to. But I don't own Betting on You and I haven't read it yet either, so I'm excited for these. They're just so cute and I have the do-over in the little sprayed edge edition. So when we get home, I'm going to reorganize my entire bookshelf because it needs it and we're going to put these on there and it's going to look so cute. You'll see the vision. And then I had to get a puzzle because I've been in my puzzle era, as you may or may not know if you watched my hobby vlog. Ever since then, I've been itching to do another puzzle, so I got this bookish one. It was so cute. This one's a thousand pieces, so it's a step up from the last one I did. That was 500 pieces, which took me very, very long time. So this should keep my attention for a good while. Hopefully until December, and then I can do like a Christmas puzzle. Ah, I don't know, but I'm so excited for puzzles. Also, this is a sneak peek. I did get a puzzle advent calendar. So in December, I will be doing a little puzzle every single day. I'm going to vlog it and put it in my, my weekly vlog. So get excited. Okay, I'm home, back from book shopping, and I was about to put my new books up on the shelf, and I'm looking at my office slash book room slash reading room, and I have books all over the place, all over the floor. My TBR cart is crazy. I don't even have a November TBR, so after we, like, clean, I need to, like, have a rough November TBR. We can kind of pick through that together and have that up on here because... Oh my god, I literally have the chills all of a sudden and I'm freezing. Everything's a mess, in conclusion. I will show you the floor in a second. And I just look at my shelves every day and every time I just want to reorganize them. I have reorganized my shelves so many times and I still feel like it's not good. And I still feel like I want to fix it. So we're going to do that now. Let me show you the floor and like this status of what we're working with. Okay, so here's my TBR card. As you can see, 
not organized. Literally random books there. Sorry, my hand's gonna cause the autofocus to shift. Books here, here, all over the floor. There's my cute dog, one of them. And this is completely unorganized. Literally books everywhere. Then we have even more books over here, like this whole stack of books, just random stuff literally everywhere. Like it's it's causing me so much stress and anxiety. So we need to fix all of this right now. I think I'm gonna start literally just by organizing piles of all the books I have on the floor. And then like we can kind of move to the shelf. Ugh, this is gonna be very overwhelming. I feel like this angle is also terrible. Oh, that was my kneecaps. That's a little bit better, maybe. Okay, so these I just bought. These are going on the shelf. These are going to go on the romance shelf, so we'll put those there. Where do I want to put these? This I need soon-ish for the video. This, do I want to listen to the, why am I starting to sing? Don't lick my book, Sally, please. I'm still waiting for the audiobook on Libby, so we'll put this on the TBR card. TBR card, uh, actually video this is done we can put this up shelf shelf another shelf another shelf bus club another club I made my piles, we're gonna work on the shelf now. So one of the main problems with my shelves is that like the genres are so unorganized. Like it looks very pretty, but there's like dark romance, YA romance, a holiday romance, literary fiction, and then romance. Like it's very disorganized and I can't stand it anymore. So that's kind of the goal today is just to like organize it more by genre. Okay, these leaves are really, starting to bother me so I guess I'll just do romance up here so I'm gonna get rid of like all of these this is just romance 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 Here's where I'm gonna have to like literally shove books together and I want to display her. So I'm gonna make my little dragons. That is perfect. I love it. Okay, moving down. We gotta figure out this whole section. <laughs> Okay, it's not perfect, but I did what I can right now. A lot of my books are gonna go on my TBR car and like table where I put books I'm filming videos with. So let's try to figure that out because I still have a few books on the floor. 
So for my TBR, I'm just going to put some books that I hopefully want to read in November. I don't really have a strict November TBR because I'm really focusing on reading vlogs for December. But maybe if I have time, I'll just start a whole new series of like 10 books. I don't know. We'll put it on here. That, I, I don't know. Hopefully I get to it. Maybe I won't. I also do really want to read A Little Woman. I haven't read a classic this year, I don't believe. So I really want to read one before the year's over. So that's going to go on here as well. I also really want to read the second book in the Harry Potter. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. I haven't looked at it yet. I just took it out of the box. But the second book in the Harry Potter series, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Look at this cover. Gorgeous. So that's also going to go on here. Don't know when I'll get to it. The next set of books are all books I want to read for a specific video. I'm sure you can probably figure out what it is. But I want to read Apprentice to the Villain, Two Twisted Crowns, and then Legendary. All of the next set of books are all for videos. I'm sure you can guess what this is as well. If you're a villains, one for my enemy, and a dark and drowning tide. So if you can guess what these videos are for, get excited because hopefully I'll film them all for December. That's my November hopefuls books. Now we can finally start my book puzzle. I'm a little bit nervous. These pieces are small. Um... This is going to take a while, so I'm going to listen to an audiobook. My current audiobook right now is Tom Lake by Anne Patchett. I'm about 28%. I'm really liking it so far. It's very, like, cozy, and it just feels like you're listening to your grandmother tell you her childhood and adolescent life stories, and it's narrated by Meryl Streep, which just makes it so much more relaxing. I love her voice, and it literally just feels like a warm cozy hug from your grandma it's so cute and we're just learning about the grandma she's not even a grandma she's a mother but it feels like a grandma she is telling her kids the story of how she met and dated a now famous movie star but obviously at the time he was not famous yet and she's just kind of telling them about how she ended up in that situation and right now it's super cute I'm just loving it. Okay, I'm gonna listen to some more so I have more to like tell you. There's not much yet that I know, so I'm gonna listen to this and do my puzzle. While he was on the other side of 40, over the course of his career, he played older, then for a stretch he played his age, then he played younger. Okay, I finished the border except for one piece up here that I can't find, so it's probably somewhere in there. This is good progress for today. I'm here to continue the puzzle. I've made a pretty, I was gonna say pretty good dent, not really, but I got a copy to motivate me. And to be honest, I really don't know what it is because the people at Dunkin' were very confused. They tried to hand me four different other drinks, and they're like, we're out of the brown sugar cookie syrup that's supposed to go in this. And I was like, okay, can you just do vanilla? He's like, yeah. And he came back and was like, we're out of, oh, we're out of almond milk. And I was like, I, I didn't even ask for almond milk. And I was like, I'm going with the mobile order. And he's like, oh. And then like five minutes later, he came back with this, which has the brown sugar syrup in it. So I really don't know if it actually does if they did put vanilla. And he also said like a macchiato. I don't know. I think it's what I ordered, which was a brown sugar. Oh, a cookie butter cold brew. That's what I ordered with cream because that makes it better. I feel like it has some sort of milk or cream in it because it's definitely lighter. Hopefully it's cream. Hopefully it's right. I think it is. No. Nope. I can tell by the first sip that's not the right thing. And it might be because they're out of the brown sugar syrups, but maybe there's nothing. Or there's maybe vanilla. Okay, that's disappointing. But I'm still going to drink it. Back to this. I'm going to hopefully get at least half of it done. And I want to finish my audiobook. I'm almost done. I have 30 minutes. So I'm going to finish Tom Lake. And then I have to figure out another audiobook. So... I just finished Tom Lake. I really enjoyed this audiobook. It just felt like a nice nostalgic book. It just felt like 
I was listening to a family member talk about their childhood and it was like nostalgic, even though I'm not related to this family member. And I enjoyed listening to it. I liked hearing about her life and it's really just like her life as a young adult, like trying to figure out what she wants to do, like her kind of becoming an actress. Mostly it takes place in like one summer where she does a lot of acting and she actually is in a play with a man named Duke who ends up becoming a famous actor and she's like reminiscing on it with her children now in the present day and it's during COVID which like kind of was like made me like ugh, to like think about <laughs> COVID again and like think about lockdown and all this stuff and they're like on a farm so literally all they have to do to like spend time is like pick the cherries on the trees and they also don't have any employees to like do that so they are the only ones her and her daughters are the only ones who can pick the cherry so that's what they're doing all summer and while they're doing it their mom is telling them the story of how she met duke and kind of her life of that year and that summer and it was just really cute and cozy and relaxing and there was like a few twists that i didn't see coming which i thought were interesting and i really liked it i'm gonna give it four stars i think if i change my opinion it will be in my wrap up but I just wanted to briefly talk about it since I did like kind of talk about the book in this video already. So I just want to let you know my final thoughts. An unearthly cry emanated from behind the door and Jeannie buried her face in the back of Logan's super soft flannel shirt. I don't remember that yelling from last time. Do you think that means I made them even angrier? Okay, I decided to take a break from the puzzle. I got about 60% into the Pumpkin Spice Cafe. It's definitely going by a lot faster with the audio. What just came out of my mouth? With the audiobook, it's going a lot faster. I'm still not really enjoying it. I find myself cringing at times. It's really just not my favorite book, but I'm going to finish it because I'm determined. Anyways, I decided now I'm going to make my Christmas wish list for the year and I'm just going to be showing you guys like the bookish things I'm going to be putting on my wish list and then I'll finish it later. I don't think you guys care about all my other Christmas wish list items unless you do. Then I'll show you in a different video. But this is strictly a bookish video so you see the correlation. Okay, so the first thing I have on here, I only have like four items by the way because I don't need too much stuff. The first thing I have is a pop socket for my Kindle. I currently don't have one and... I see a lot of people using them and it just looks so much easier to like hold your Kindle, especially at night. I cannot tell you the amount of times I've dropped my Kindle onto my face in the middle of the night while reading it. It's literally terrible. Wakes you right up at least, but still it hurts. So I've heard the pop socket helps prevent that a little bit because you can like hold it better. And I really want one that is a MagSafe one. That way I can take it off and I'm not committed to that decision because that kind of stresses me out. So. I found this one on Etsy. It's super cute. It just says bookish with a heart shape. I think it's cute. This is the price that includes the MagSafe like sticker that you would like put on your Kindle case and that way you can like... Does that make sense? That's that. I've been wanting one for a while and I just like haven't like wanted to buy it myself, you know? So it's like a perfect Christmas gift. This one, you might be like, girl, do you really need that? I probably don't, but like I really want it. <laughs> like I cannot tell you how many times I'm like laying and I like prop my Kindle up and I'm just like, ugh. And I'm cold. That's the thing. My hands get freezing. So I'm trying to be like under the covers, like in bed reading. Just imagine. And like, then I have to turn the page. So I have to take my hand out of the cover. I know I'm being so dramatic, but like, I have to take my hand out of the cover and then like turn the page so many times. And I'm just like, would rather just be like cuddled up under the blanket and like have to click a little button to turn the page. Guys, I know this sounds dramatic, but it's Christmas. Like, this is like when you get things that you may not always buy for yourself or like necessarily need it's a wish list for a reason i'm not expecting to get like everything these are just ideas so i just think it'd make my life easier that's all i don't know why i feel like i have to justify it like i'm scared people are gonna be hating on me for this but i guarantee i'm gonna use the crap out of this thing if i get it and it's gonna be kind of life-changing so that's on there this isn't really bookish but to me it is because i do color these coloring books i have one already it's the I have this one currently and I've used it a lot. If you've watched like my, okay, I show you a complete blank page. I've used it a few times. If you've seen some of my videos, you might have seen it and I just kind of want another one. 
But like I said, these are bookish to me because I listen to my audiobooks while I do them. That's literally all I do. I can't sit in silence. So it's like I have to listen to my audiobook when I'm coloring. And it's just a very relaxing, cozy hobby that I'm hoping to implement more in the new year. I just started this and it is super relaxing for me. It helps me with my anxiety and gets me to continue with my audiobooks. So I have two options. One's kind of just like a cozy hobby one. And then another one is just like a little corner room interior coloring one so those are really cute and pretty inexpensive oh yeah this page is the last one that i have and it's incomplete because i was looking at puzzles for like 30 minutes and i was like that's an exaggeration probably like five minutes but i was like i'm just need to stop so i'm gonna look for some cute puzzles and add this in later but again this is like a hobby that i do recently so i would like some more puzzles to add to my collection and hopefully implement that into the new year as well so that's all i have for the bookish part of my Christmas wish list. I hope that helped someone out there or just helps you guys get some inspiration. Okay, I finished the puzzle as you saw. Yes, it took me a very long time, but on the bright side, I did get to finish the Pumpkin Spice Cafe audiobook. I'm not gonna talk about this book that much because I simply just didn't like it. It literally just had like everything that I dislike in a romance. It was all in there. It literally had miscommunication, insta-love, a lot of spice, I warn you for that. It just wasn't for me, so I did not like it, but at least I finished the book. Now I can finally like put it on my finished reading thing on goodreads and it's not staring me in the face so this is going to be the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed watching me do a bunch of different bookish things thank you so much for watching subscribe if you're not already so you can see more of my videos and i'll see you very very soon in my next video mm -hmm.